everybody Ann here sitting here in the tiny house just finished my coffee and I'm getting ready to head out for the day I need to do the chicken thing check on the chickens feed the chickens uh, check on the baby chicks I want to see if I can get some closer footage of them today I don't know if Miss Pris will allow it if she starts getting upset and pacing I won't do it um, I've also got to finish securing the garden from the chickens and uh, putting that little stretch of fence up Good thing is, is I got a lot of chicken wire left over, so I think I'm going to be able to accomplish it. So I better get going. I've started pinching off herbs here and there because they're all doing really well. I got a little bit of oregano, some rosemary, some peppermint, some thyme, lemon balm, and the spinach is doing really great. I can pinch off it every day and I keep getting new leaves. So I'm just going to kind of mix this all together and throw it out there. And yeah, I do separate things because then one hen will just take the whole bunch and nobody else will get any. They'll just gobble it down. So yeah, this is, I don't give this treat to them every day, but this morning this is what they're getting. Oh, look at them come running. Yep, I'm just going to toss it out there. It's a free-for-all. Yeah, I got to clean this pan out. That's for gosh darn sure. They love this stuff. They love all of it. Yeah, and here's Romeo. He's being the man. Here's some rosemary for you, chicken. You're such a good rooster, Romeo. Pretty chickens. Before I get really into my day, I wanted to talk to you about what had me so angry the other night. I'm calm now, so I can, I can relay the information without losing my mind. Anyhow, I had been out and about all day long, and all of a sudden I hear some footsteps in the woods in back of my tiny house. And I look up there and there's this guy, and I told him, hey, stop, who are you? And he just kept walking. And I don't know if he didn't hear me, but I, I told him again, whoa, whoa, who are you? Why are you on my property? And he didn't say anything, and he just kind of kept walking. And so I got closer to him and I says, this is private property. What are you doing here? And I, I asked him, who are you? And he said his name. Um, and he says, I'm looking for my dog. Well, there was no dog <laughs> out on my property. No, no stray dogs or anything. I would have known and I would have gladly tried to find the owner. Um, and I told him, you know, I asked him what kind of dog it was and et cetera, et cetera. Um, and... I told him, please don't come up on my property, especially through the back, through the woods. If you need to find your lost dog, just stand at the border of our property and holler at me because I told him, you scared me. You know, I could have shot you. And um, he says, okay, um, I'm just looking for my dog, you know, and it, it kind of seemed like he was giving me a little bit of an attitude. Um, so I told him, you know, if in the future you have a lost dog, don't come onto my property. You can pull around the front because he lives in the house out back of my backwoods, okay? Um, so I told him, you can pull up to the front of my drive and honk at the end of the drive. If my truck's there, you'll know I'm home. And you know what? I think I shouldn't have said that probably. Hmm. Anyhow, I told him, just honk. I'll come up to you. I'll help you find your dog, but don't come up on my property unless you've announced yourself. Um, and I said, you scared me, you know, like I said, I could have shot you. And, um, well, I found out something about this neighbor. Um, this neighbor had threatened to shoot one of his neighbor's dogs if, uh, because the dog strayed onto his property. And, um, I guess this upset him. So he threatened the dog owner to shoot his dog if his dog came up on his property again. And that is something that I find reprehensible to shoot a dog just because it comes up on your property. You know, I, I would see if it was a dog that was threatening you, it was, uh, you know, shooting, you know, killing your chickens or, you know, trying to kill you or kill your other dog or, or something like that. That's, that's one thing, but just to have a little innocent dog, okay, come up on your property and you're, you say you're going to shoot the dog and then he had the nerve. <laughs> Somebody just lay an egg. Yeah. He had the nerve to come up onto my property looking for his dog. And I don't believe he was looking for his dog. Um, so, <laughs> yeah, I was pretty upset about that. And I went across the street, talked to Mr. Lucas. He gave me a little bit more information about the person or persons living in that house. 
and he said that there there was a thief living in that house. Now, I don't know if it's the dude that came up on my property or if it was someone who's living there or was living there. Um, but I have other neighbors, I'm not going to say who they are, but other neighbors who've reported having things stolen from their property and that, that they know that the person who stole it lives in that house. Um, I don't know if they saw the property. I don't, um, I don't know exactly how they know for sure, but, um, so yeah, uh, I got a little upset. I was very upset because you know, first of all, he threatened to kill another neighbor's dog, all right? And then he has the nerve to come looking for his stray dog on my property after he had said that. So all in all, it was just wrong, but I've let it go. I need to learn to be more calm in situations like this um, and just, you know, work things through. I need to be assertive <laughs> and decisive and deliberate in letting people know, no, no, you may not come wandering on my property unannounced looking for your dog because I may think you may be trying to steal something from me. All right, so that's what that is all about, but I'm okay now. And uh, so it's all done and said. So I got to get going doing stuff. First project done, and I did it with the chicken wire that the lovely Miss Doreen sent me. Um, this is just another barrier. No, it's not a fence or anything like that. It's just to keep the chickens from going out this way and over here I have just connected it by wrapping the wires around because I want to be able to get in and out of this pretty easily um, I just used one stake and then over here I just kind of pulled it up over that tree for right now and I have used some various you know stakes there's another proper stake right there uh, there's another one down here yeah Things just I found around my property just to kind of hold it in up against this earth here. Now, you know what? I know the chickens could fly over this, but I'm hoping that they will just not do that. But at least this will give them a little bit of discouragement. And down here, I've just put a few flat rocks to kind of hold it down. But it hugs the earth real nicely. So hopefully they won't want to go beyond this. Now, I do know I have seen the chickens basically just fly up over this hill. So that's a possibility. Um, if it happens, it happens. You know, if I can just discourage them from free ranging all around the front and going out in the street, which what they were doing that they were going out in the street um, that's gonna be great so now I have to figure out the rest project number two complete courtesy of the lovely Miss Doreen for the chicken wire and Miss Donna B for sending me the colorful zip ties and I'm gonna leave them long like that so people can see them and not walk into the fence because sometimes it's kind of hard to see this so yep oh somebody's trying to get out I'll let you free range. I got to make sure that you guys all laid your eggs first, though. Um, yeah, so I just used, I pulled out the four stakes in that garden bed, and I had to add a couple pieces of bamboo, but that's okay. Um, they'll, work out, they'll work out all right, I think. Uh, and over here, all I did is I attached a little hook here, hook here, and I, this is another access point where I can just come in and out whenever I want to. And just kind of leave it like that. Um, like I said, it's not a dog barrier. Dogs could get through this. I mean, heck, the chickens could fly over it. But they haven't been doing as much escaping lately. They've been staying in the yard, so that's a good thing. But the leghorn starts squawking if I leave them in the yard too long and they can't get out and roam around. Anyhow, over here, all I've done, I'm just going to bend this chicken wire over this wire. This is going to be another entry point. Uh, and that holds it up just fine. So the last thing, the last challenge is I can't keep the chickens out if I don't block off at least this part of the tiny house. Hmm. I wonder. I wonder if I've got enough left of this maybe. Huh. I'm going to have to think on this. Look at that. Five beautiful eggs already and it's just about noon. So awesome. Well, chickens, I'm going to let you out in a minute. I just have to fix one more thing, and then I'm going to let you out and roam all the rest of the day. Sound like a good deal? I don't care. It is the most jankiest barrier I've ever seen. But I just wanted to do something really quick, so I'll just shove, shove some cardboard back there. 
kind of holding it up here and there. Uh, that's a weak point. Nope, I'm not going to keep it like this. It looks horrible. Um, but I want to let the chickens out early until I figure out exactly what I want to do because I don't want to waste any more, you know, valuable resources. Um, and then I got to decide if I want to do the lattices. So this is what it is for right now. Cardboard. I do have this fencing left. I've got some more chicken wire. And you know what I could do? Probably. I just don't have any staples left. I could probably put some deer netting up there. You know? And just put bricks on the bottom here and there. And staple it to the bottom there. Huh. I'll think about it. That's for another day. For right now, these chickens have been very, very good. They laid all their eggs super early. So guess what, you guys? You want to go outside? You pretty chickens want to go outside? Come on, my babies. Come on. Oh. Fly, be free. Let's see if it holds them. Hopefully it will. Whew. Got a lot done today. It is warming up. It's sunny and I'm all I'm kind of like sweaty and whatnot. So hopefully this all works for the chickens and they don't try to elope. Um, and you know what? I think that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.